Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're now officially into the intermediate days of Passover here in Israel. These are the days between the holy days that bookend the religious festival both in Israel and throughout the Jewish world. These are called Holomoed in Hebrew. Many Israelis take the entire Passover festival off as vacation. This is always the time of year when the airports are full of people looking to get out of the country until the end of the festival. Which always seems a little ironic given that the festival of Passover celebrates the ancient Israelites departing towards the Holy Land. Many companies in Israel work on half day schedules during the intermediate days. So even if like me you're stuck working over the period, you can still use your afternoons to go on hikes and other leisure activities. As well as all that fun stuff, regular life goes on. Fridges need to be filled, loads of laundry need to be cleaned. Except that if you're keeping kosher, all of the products you purchase need to be specifically certified for consumption during Passover. In Hebrew, this is called kosher la Pesach, and it's an additional dietary certification and requirement which only applies during the Passover period. If you've popped into your local supermarket to stock up on goods during Passover, then you may have been confronted with a site like this. And if you didn't know anything about Passover and Jewish dietary laws, you'd probably wonder what was going on. Fortunately, you have me. During Passover, Jews refrain from consuming leavened products. These are called hametz in Hebrew. During the lead up to the festival, religious Jews will scour their homes, ridding them of every tiny morsel of leavened products. Most supermarkets in Israel, including the major national chains like Shufersal, are kosher. That means that they need to go through the same rigmarole. Given that their clientele consists of many religious Jews, they also adhere to largely the same set of strictures that govern Jewish religious life over the holiday. In addition to the prohibition against consuming leaven products or hametz, Jews are actually forbidden from even seeing them. This is why if you go to a religious Jew's home over the holiday, you will see foods that are forbidden for consumption over the holiday, say pasta for example, covered over with sheets of tarpaulin or some other covering. The same thing applies to kosher supermarkets. In order to distinguish between which products are certified kosher for Passover and which are not, and those which cannot be even looked at, their leaven products are covered over with tarpaulin for the duration of the religious holiday. I hope this video was interesting, thanks for watching it, and if you're interested in getting more videos about everything to do with living in Israel and Jerusalem, then please do consider subscribing.